Okay, men, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use uh, AP div tags. It's uh, not the most sophisticated way, but for us, it, it suits our purposes. It's a great introduction to using CSS with Dreamweaver. So first off, create a new site, and I'm going to have I'm going to send you over some of the uh, uh, the graphics. I'm going to call mine Flower, and I think I've got a folder on my desktop called Flower Power. So I'm going to select that, and then you want this to be your root folder. For some reason, it's not showing up on mine, so I double-click images, and that shows up. I'm going to click OK, and now over here I have my site with my images, and I have some lorem text. I'm going to create a new HTML, and we're going to go into, uh, first of all, switch this from designer to classic, and if you have the code going, or split screen, click on designer. Now, the first thing you want to do is that we're going to mess with the page property. So click there, and we're going to do appearance CSS, not HTML. Now we have a background image in there called uh, BG. Uh, click OK because there's no other option, and we're going to have it repeat. So click repeat, and we are good to go. So that's our. Uh, that's our site thus far. Um, let's see. We're going to start by adding what's called an AP uh, a div tag. And let's go to, uh, click on, where are those things hiding? All right, I found them. Click from common to layout, and they're right here. Draw AP div tag. And what's cool about this, as, as it says, you can draw it. And that's our, uh, our tag. And AP stands for absolute position. So you can click up here on the move handle, wherever you put it is uh, where it's going to go. And if we were to split this and look at the code, that's our first div tag right here. And as we move it, all these will change. Also, if you select it, you'll see our HTML line down here, AP div tag represent. So that can be the, uh, let me give you guys a picture of, uh, let me find a picture of what we're going to make. Okay, so this picture shows what our um, web page is going to look like. The dark blue background, we're going to have a picture of the flower in the middle, our links up top, a uh, logo and two sets of text. Uh, they, they're gray. This one has a darker background than the, uh, the right one does, and it's uh, right aligned. This one is left aligned with no background. All right, so first thing we can do inside of here is add our, uh, add our uh, what do we call it, our logo. So we can put that in here. My alt text is going to be logo. And if I want, I can resize, uh, should be able to resize. Let's grab the move handle. And I could set that up any way I wanted. Uh, so now, if I ever want, I can move this. And the one thing you can do with uh, this CSS and these absolute position ones, you can overlap images, which you cannot do in regular HTML. So I'm going to insert another one for my links. I'm going to type out a little bit. Uh, I'm going to get a background going here. Well, I'm going to turn off my background for right now. Or if I just go to no repeat, it will just leave that one image. So, in here, home. Uh, let's say there's products. And for that vertical line, I'm hitting Shift and then right above the Enter key, there is a catalog. And we're not going to have these actually link anywhere. And of course, contact us. Put that where I'd like it. Of 
course. As you see, we can overlap. Now at this point, let's go ahead and save. File save. And our main page is usually called index. Index, and it's going to save as a .html. And then you can preview it here or hitting F12. And there we go. The one thing about AP positioning, though, is you notice as we move this, as I move this around, it doesn't go anywhere. It's not going to resize. But as long as we have it small enough and towards the center, that should not matter. So I'm going to throw in another AP div tag. Drag in flower power. Color my image. And I have no idea how big this image is. And it could be that it's just sizing itself up to uh, match whatever we have. So it's expanding to fill. So I'm going to make it a little smaller. Drag that back into position. Hit enter a few times to give myself some space and now add some text. So I just double clicked on the uh, lorem ipsum one, copy and paste. I'm going to draw another one. Go back to lorem, grab the second paragraph. Copy, 